Hello, this is Nicole Bandis, and I am with Virtual A Team bringing you another awesome topic on what you can delegate on Delegate This. And today my guest is Carrie Severson, and she is an amazing publisher, but she has a unique little uh, kind of perspective to it. It's not about self-publishing, it's not about the big publishing houses, but I'm gonna let Carrie tell you a little bit more about what you do and how you do it. Carrie, thanks so much for being on. Thanks, yeah, I love this, delegate this. So yeah, I'm Carrie Severson. I am the founder of the Unapologetic Voice House. So we are an independent publishing house. So there's the self-publishing, there's the high uh, traditional publishing, and then there's the middle ground, the independent publishing. So um, we work with authors who have a finished product, a finished manuscript. We put them through everything from editing to design of their actual cover. We, um, we have a distribution channel, which is traditional, and they get access to bookstores around North America, libraries, e-distributions, and then we do have an option for them to invest in in terms of the marketing and public relations. So this is a perfect topic because publishing is a very daunting task for a lot of people, and yet so many people want to do it, and they think their only option is self-publishing or traditional. And that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is brilliant because, uh, you know, I published my book, uh, I think it was 2010-ish, and I self-published because I don't think independent houses were around there. Maybe they were, but I just wasn't aware of them. Uh, right. And of course, thinking about the whole, okay, well, I could go get it published. That was even more daunting than doing it myself. But man, I, there's a lot <laughs> that goes into it. There is. It, it's just crazy. So tell me, um, how do, by, by helping people sell, by helping people publish their book, how do you, right. save, how do you save them time or money? All right, so um, there are so many steps to publishing a book, regardless of what direction you go in. Um, there's uh, ISP numbers, Library of Congress, there's format issues, um, there's certain things that you don't think of, like uh, barcodes on the back, things like that. And when you self-publish, you're responsible for all of it. You are the account manager, the author, the sales team, the marketer, um, not a lot of people go off and find professional editors or even graphic artists. You're responsible for all of it. When you work with a publishing house like ours, like the Unapologetic Voice House, or any independent publisher, you actually come in with an account manager. There is an upfront investment. There's an upfront investment though with self-publishing as well. And you're responsible for going off and finding all those people. When you come into the Unapologetic Voice House, we have an account manager that walks you through the entire process. We find, we have a team of editors, we have a team of graphic designers. We are responsible for doing all the things that you are. So in terms of delegating, a lot of times people, all of my clients so far have full-time jobs. Writing a book is something they know they're supposed to do in their heart, but it's not a full-time thing. So delegating it over to somebody else while you get to go and stay in your zone of genius in your lane, honestly, is the best benefit. So Yeah, you know, and I love that because from what I know of authors, they, they write books. They don't publish books. <laughs> That's not what they do. They didn't get into writing this amazing piece of work so that they could then spend the time getting it edited and doing the graphics and you know figuring out how to format it so that it gets picked up by ebooks and doing this yeah. and doing that um you know so very much i mean i'm you know obviously a big believer in staying in your zone of genius and delegating all of that extra stuff um so i love that i love the fact that you are uh able to take that off of their plates for them yeah. Yeah, and um, just, you know, you said it, hit it right on the head where writers are writers. Nowadays, writers are looked at as businesses. So when I started this process, I've been in the storytelling business for 20 years. When I started my book journey back in like 2011 or 2010, I remember sitting in conferences, listening to agents and listening to publishers tell us as authors, we also had to go off and build platforms. And I remember being in the audience and feeling overwhelmed because 
why do I have to do this if I'm, you know, if we're going to work together. Can't you help me do it? People are expected to come in with some sort of funnel in place, some sort of marketing component in place, avenues in which they can actually put their book out into distribution. And um, you are responsible for doing those things if you're in self-publishing. When you work with a house, either traditional or independent, the best part of what we offer is the team that can help you walk you through the steps of even study, starting your social media and creating you know, the funnels and all the things that your team does and um, finding public relations and then the distribution. So it's really um, a one-stop shop. We are a publishing house with an aspect of marketing and public relations within us. Yeah, and that you know that's um, that actually answers one of the questions that I had, uh, which I was going to kind of spring on you because I didn't tell you ahead of time. But <laughs> you know, what's the difference between a traditional publishing house and an independent publishing house? Yep. So the traditional house um, is, let's say, Hay House. Um, Hay House is looking for authors who have like five hundred thousand followers or more. They have a finished product. They're um, they're already established authors and they come to agents looking for projects. Um, as an author, if you wanna go and get a traditional book deal, your first step is to pitch an agent with a query letter, then you send in a proposal, they're gonna uh, pick you up as a client and their job is to go off and find you a book deal. So the traditional route is um, several different steps. That opportunity will then create, maybe you get a book advance, maybe you don't, the option of an advance is it's really a loan. So the concept of advance is that very thing that um, authors don't start making money until the advance is paid back. The biggest difference between traditional and independent comes down to the royalties and the fact that you're basically selling the rights to your book to the house. Mm -hmm. With the independent house, you own the rights to your book and you're licensing it to the publisher. And then you get a bigger um, percentage of the royalties in the back end. Um, there, some independent houses are giving advances, not most though, because of the, the royalties, you're making more money at the back end anyway. Um, and then again, it's the immediate, uh, you don't have to go through an agent to work with an independent house. So there's, right. some, there's some differences, there's pros and cons to all of it. It really comes down to the goals um, that you have for your book. Yeah. You know, and that makes sense. I mean, you know, certainly there's that whole, you're not having to go through a long litany of rejections in order to get your book published. But on the other side, you're probably putting up some extra money on the front end to make that happen. So, yep. um, you know, it depends on, on what you're looking for, what your goals are. Yeah. So what is one thing that people should know about delegating publishing to an independent house? So there are a lot of, every publisher is doing it different. When I started the Unapologetic Voice House, I spent close to a year learning what everyone else was doing so I could figure this out and nobody's doing it the same. And so we have different submission guidelines. We have different um, distribution houses everyone um, has sort of found their own niche. So what I can tell you is that um, the things that you really want to question is the uh, book designer, making sure that your actual designer has a lot of experience creating book covers because um, sadly the cover sells it, right? You want somebody to be able to help you with, what, with what's called metadata. It is the um, it's the codes that you're going to be working with. It's how you're describing your book and your actual bio. So when you go into any house, make sure that you have um, really like a set person that can help you walk through these steps. You have an account person, you can talk to them on an ongoing basis. There are a lot of stories out there with a lot of um, well-known big houses where people just give them their money and they never hear from them again. So make sure that you're doing due diligence and you are asking the right questions up front, like who's going to be designing my book, who's the editor, how much experience do they have, <laughs> um, and make sure you have somebody that you can talk to whenever you want to talk to them. 
Yeah, that sounds great. I think that um, that you know gives us a really great kind of starting place on what to look for, who to look for, and how to start thinking about the process of delegating the publishing of our own books. But of course, we wouldn't be doing anybody any good if we left them without a resource. So how can people reach out and connect with you, Carrie, and find out more about your independent publishing house? Sure. So the unapologeticvoicehouse.com has everything from our resources to um, submission requirements, a little bit about us and our team and who we work with and their experience, as well as um, you know our packages and how you can work with us if you're interested in finding a publisher. So head over there, the unapologeticvoicehouse.com. Sounds great. Thanks for being on this episode of Delegate This. Thank you.